Dear students, in this video, you will be learning about problems related to applications of Gauss law. In the first problem, there is a sphere of radius of 10 cm and there is a charge inside and we have to find out this charge now. This charge produces electric field everywhere radially but in the problem it's given that the electric field points radially inward which means if it is inward then we can easily guess that uh, the charge should be negative from the properties of electric field lines. Okay, And this charge produces an electric field of 1.5 into 10 power 3 Newton per coulomb at a point P 20 centimeter away from the center of the sphere. Now we know this equation for electric field produced by a point charge Q. So Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared will give the electric field. And except Q all these values are known values from the problem we can calculate Q. And here if you see epsilon naught value instead of 8.85 .8 into 10 power minus 12 here we use 1 pi 4 pi into 9 into 10 power 9 and 4 pi 4 pi will go away and uh, we can calculate the charge as 6.67 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb here you are getting a positive value but you have to say it in the answer that q is negative because electric field is directed inwards okay so you have to write it as minus 6.67 and 10 power minus 9 is written as nano coulomb in this problem we have a sphere of 2.4 meter radius here the charges are distributed on the surface of the sphere which means that we have surface charge density and it is given in the problem it is 80.0 micro coulomb per meter squared so all these positive charges on the surface of the sphere produces electric field radially outwards now the first question is what is the charge on the sphere so to find the charge on the sphere we are going to use the surface charge density that is sigma sigma times a will give you the charge on the sphere total charge on the sphere a is the surface area of the sphere which is nothing but 4 pi r squared so we can uh, substitute all the values and we can calculate q as 1.4 pi 5 into 10 power minus 3 coulombs now the second part of the question is what is the total electric flux leaving the surface of the sphere okay so we know this um, phi equals q divided by epsilon naught according to gauss law so q we calculated and we know epsilon zero value it's a constant and uh, by substituting uh, the values here you can uh, calculate easily calculate electric flux 1.6 into 10 power 8 newton meter squared per coulomb in this problem there is a line of charge which produces electric field of 9 into 10 power 4 newton per coulomb at point p which is 2 centimeter away from this line okay and we have to calculate the linear charge density okay from the application of um, gauss law we have derived this equation e equals lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r lambda is the linear charge density so we have to find out this so lambda equals e times 2 pi r epsilon naught e is given r is given so we can easily calculate lambda so here also once again instead of epsilon naught they use a 4 pi k so that you can use 4 pi 9 into 10 power 9 here clear so it's a straightforward question and it's also very easy uh, we can calculate lambda as 10 into 10 power minus 6 you can uh, say this 10 power minus 6 as a micro coulomb per meter in this problem there are two metal plates plate 1 and plate 2 the inner surface of plate 1 has positive charge distribution which means that it has positive surface charge density sigma 
The inner surface of the plate 2 has negative charges distribution, so it has negative sigma as surface charge density. Now the question is, what is the electric field in the outer region of plate 1? That is, what is E in the outer region of the first plate? And then, what is electric field in the outer region of second plate? And at the end, we have to calculate what is the electric field in between the plates. Okay, this kind of setup is called as a parallel plate capacitor. We will learn about this in chapter 2 also. Now let us calculate electric field in outer region 1 that is this region. If you see here the electric field due to this uh, positive charges will be in this direction and the electric field due to this negative charges it will be in the opposite direction. So sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught is the electric field produced by the one metal plate. Okay, this we learnt it from applications of Gauss law. So, one is a positive sigma, the other one is negative sigma. So, the electric field, the total electric field, they have the same uh, magnitude, but they act in opposite direction. So, total electric field is a zero in the outer region of plate one. And you will see the same thing in the outer region of plate 2 also because the electric field produced by this negative charge distribution will be in this direction but the electric field due to this positive charges distribution will be in the opposite direction. So their magnitudes are equal that is sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught but when we add it the, since 1 is a negative sigma, you will have the total electric field is a 0 in the outer region also. But if you take a point P here and if you see that uh, the electric field produced by positive charge will act in this direction and also the electric field produced by negative uh, charges will also be in the same direction. So the electric fields due to this charge distribution and uh, this negative charges distribution uh, they are going to uh, add up. So that's why we have sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught plus sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught in the region in between the plates. Okay, so when you add it, you will have sigma divided by epsilon naught. Sigma is given here, that is the charge density value, surface charge density value is given here, and we can calculate electric field inside the um, metal plates. And that is 1.92 into 10 power minus 10 Newton per coulomb. Thank you.